Okay, so here's a slice of pizza. And I've got two questions here. If I was to measure the perimeter of this slice of pizza, how would I do that? And also, if I was to measure the area of this slice of pizza, how would I do that? Well, we know that for a full circle, the perimeter is pi times the diameter. And then we know for a full circle, the area is pi times the radius squared. We don't have that. When we've got like a part of a circle, we call this part of a circle a sector. That just means it's a part of a circle. And what we've got to do then is we've got to work out the perimeter of the whole circle. So the perimeter of the whole circle would be pi times d, and we know that pi, let's assume that pi is 3 in this case. Uh, we'll make it a little bit easier for ourselves. And diameter, well, the radius is 6, so the diameter is 12. So the perimeter of the whole circle would be 3 12 36 centimeters. But we don't have a whole circle. We have a fraction of a circle. How much of a fraction do we have? Well, we have 50 parts because we've got a 50 degree angle, out of the whole circle would have 360. So we actually have 50 360ths of that perimeter of the whole circle, which was 36. So this is actually how we work it out. You see, we've got some actually quite nice numbers here. So we have that 36 can divide into 360 10 times. So we get 50 divided by 10. Uh, giving us five centimeters. So the perimeter, which I've spelt incorrectly there, I don't know what I'm thinking of. the perimeter of the whole circle is 36, but, but the perimeter of our sector is five centimeters. And that really isn't the perimeter, it's just the perimeter of this arc here. We call it an arc of the circle when it's a bit of the outside and not the whole of it. We would call that our arc. So the perimeter of our arc, the outside bit of the circle, is 5. So the perimeter of the whole of the pizza would be the arc plus these other two edges here. So the perimeter of our sector, the whole piece of pizza, would be 5 centimeters, the outside arc, plus this side, 6 centimeters, plus this side, 6 centimeters. So we'd get a perimeter of 17 centimetres for that arc. Okay? That's the perimeter. We do actually pretty much the same thing when it comes to area. We calculate first the whole area of the circle. So let's take this away. We calculate the whole area of the circle using our formula pi r squared. So the area of the whole circle... equals pi r squared. We'll assume that pi is 3 again, just to keep things nice and easy, times 6 squared. Remember that 6 squared means 6 times 6 and not 6 times 2, giving us 3 times 6 squared. 6 6 is a 36. 3 times 36, 3 sixes are 18. Carry one over. 3 threes are 9 plus 1, 10. So the area of the whole circle is 108 centimetres squared. Centimetres squared. The area of our arc then, or the area of our sector, the little piece of pizza that we have, is going to be 50 parts, it's 50 degree angle, out of the whole area, which is 360, times 108. Okay? And that's how we work out areas for sectors. Here we can cancel this zero. This zero. So um, I'd probably keep that in terms of 5. 108 is actually easier if we keep it in terms of 3 times 36. 
We know that 108 equals 3 times 36, because look what happens when we do that. We get these lovely numbers where we've got 36 on the top and we've got 36 on the bottom. So I don't even have to use a calculator to work this out. I can see that my 36 cancel. 36 divided by 36 equals 1. And then I get 5 times 3 equals 15 centimeters squared. So the area of my sector, my piece of pizza, is 15 centimeters squared.